Hey, what's up everybody? Hollywood Pizza here, and we're going to be playing some Rakdos Sacrifice. That's right, good old cat in the oven. Uh, one of the best decks, I think, in Explorer. Uh, didn't really gain too much from the Shadows Over Innistrad set, but you know what? Can't beat an old classic. Uh, this deck always does great in our tournaments, and I think it's just a really, really great choice for ranked as well. This deck list specifically was a deck list that we got from Ubelstar. Uh, the sideboard is actually from Samsoni. Uh, just because Ubelstar's deck was a best of one deck, and we decided to take the latest uh, placing deck list from Rakdos Sacrifice from our latest tournament uh, for Explorer as well. So let's go ahead and jump right into the deck list here. We got the usual suspects, four Cauldron Familiars, four Witches Ovens, three Unlucky Witnesses, four Claim the Firstborns, four Village Rites, a couple Gutter Bones, and Eaten Alive. Uh, you can already tell from our one drops we have a little bit of some extra removal. In the Eaten Alive, a couple Gutter Bones for some more cards to sacrifice, and a little bit of some of that early beatdown as well to help against some of those slower decks. For the two drops, we've got four Priests of Forgotten Gods and four Dread Horde Butchers. Uh, these are definitely some old school mainstays from when this deck was in standard, and they're still really, really powerful cards. We have one Bloodthirsty Adversary, which helps flashback our Eaten Alive, Claim the Firstborn, Village Rites, but on top of that, we can also flashback our Call of the Death Dweller. And get back some of our creatures. And speaking of Call of the Death Deller, this card is really, really great with Dread Horde Butcher and the Mayhem Devil. By giving one of them a uh, Death Touch, essentially the Mayhem Devil Death Touch, you can machine gun down your opponent's board. Uh, if you give this Death Touch, then once it dies, you're going to be able to shoot something down no matter how big the Dread Horde Butcher was. So overall, Call of the Death Dweller, definitely, definitely great addition to the deck. For special lands, we have a couple Hive of the Eye Tyrants, two then of the Bugbears. A Takanuma and a Sekenzin outside of some dual lands. For the sideboard, we have four Thoughtseize to help against anything combo or control. Uh, one Fatal Push to help against anything that's aggressive or when we need that timely removal spell. Revolt's not going to be a problem with this deck. Three Leyline of the Voids for anything that's going to be graveyard based. An Abrade for potentially the Mirror Match or anything with artifacts. Maybe even just bring it in as extra removal. Same as the Colgan's Command, just extra value. We also have the Carry Zev's Expertise, which not only takes a card, but lets us cast something for free. Or we can maybe just take one of their creatures and Village Rites all at once. And we also have an Angrath to help push through the value where we can make our opponents discard. Or even potentially take some of their threats and keep sacrificing them as well. And of course we're playing our great friend Gigantha as the companion. Uh, overall, like I said earlier, this deck's just a great choice for any tournament, and I think it's great for ranked as well. Let's go ahead and jump into some games and have some fun. Going to be on the draw here. And I don't think that we can keep this. It's a bit too slow. We're guessing a blue deck, maybe. This is way better. Hmm. Yeah, I still think we want to get rid of this. I get a feeling it's a blue deck just because of their sleeves, but... Yeah, that's a, is a deck. Start off with the gutter bones. Probably pay the two life for the blood crypt, play the cat. We have village rights. Maybe smash in first. Okay, land drop. Let's see what else they got now. Okay, just to pass. We'll pay two life. Play the Cauldron Familiar. No oven yet, though. We'd rather Village Rites. If they have like a sensor, we don't want to just run this out into it. Impulse, sure. They're also taking some damage for that. Maybe they're looking for a land. We have our third land here in Takanuma. And plenty of spells to cast.
Looks like they may have a removal spell here, or they're just reading the gutter bones. Could be creativity. Okay. Yeah, I think we sacked the cat. Do they just have a kill spell here for the gutter bones? Exile spell, I guess. I would definitely rather just dig deeper into the deck here. Okay, another gutter bones seems pretty decent. Go to combat. Play an oven. And another gutter bones. Pass the turn back. They hit an impulse here. Okay, six cards in hand. Do they just have a fable? Nothing yet. Okay, priest is pretty decent. We're just gonna swing out first, see what they do. Still kind of like hold on to the Takanuma. We could play Priest, but it's probably gonna die. Maybe we play this. If they try to go for the Priest, we can just make a food token. Okay, big score. So they might be going for combo here. If they have the infinite combo, we're just dead. Not really much we can do about that. We'll see if they have it. Six cards in hand. Looks like they may be doing it here. Hmm. So they actually didn't have it. Interesting. Swing in. This is six damage. Okay, so they're just gonna do this. Let's see, that's four. This does add two black. But I don't think that that's worth it. I think we'd rather sacrifice it to the village rights. Okay, Dread Horde Butcher's pretty good. Hit a witness. Let's play Butcher. Go to combat. Smash in. Okay, that gets a counter. And we'll pass it back. They're up five. 
We could only deal them three right away. Oof, they're going to get some more redraws here, which is pretty scary. We have them pretty close to dead, though. Still a little bit early here. Okay, Violent Code Awakening. And they may as well just get rid of everything, right? Interesting. All right. All right, and our opponent scoops it up, so it looks like they didn't have the combo there. We kind of want to max out on... Oh, well, we want some discard. Wow, they actually conceded the match. Well, we'll see how the rest of our matches go. Oh, this hand's really close. Oh, wow, this hand is so close. Okay, this is a little bit better, I think. I uh, don't really want to get rid of a Mayhem Devil. <laughs> if I don't have to. I guess we could have kept it if... Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah, that's fine. Could have kept it if they were... um. A creature base stack that first hand take the one that's really good for us they might have a claim though which would be a bit annoying but it is what it is if they do we have oven plus village rights next turn okay gonna take the damage they have another unlucky witness. Sure. They don't hit a land. I think oven and gutter bones is okay. We'll see if they drew a land. If not, they're definitely in some trouble here. Okay, there's a priest. Alright, so we have a blood crypt as well. We can just kill the priest with the butcher, but... We could do a lot more than that. With the Mayhem Devil, if we swing, they're more than likely balking here. We can just kill both of their cards. Swing out, they block here. Take two, this gets bigger. I think we just swing out though. I get a feeling that they're just gonna trade here, and I think that's okay. I don't mind that if they want to do it. Will they double block the butcher? They double block the butcher. We just kill the priest. We can also just sack this. Shoot the witness. And then the priest dies. We're definitely leaving ourselves a bit vulnerable here to 
like a claim the firstborn, but if we draw a land, we can play another mayhem double, village rights, and we just deal like a ton of damage next turn. Okay, yep, there's a the claim. So yeah, they're gonna hit us. We can block. Then it kills the double. I think we'd rather they use cards in their hand. Yeah, definitely left us a bit vulnerable there, but it is what it is. Right, we'll deal them a damage. They'll kill that. Alright, let's play both of these. Pass them back. Oh, we're at 14. Yep, there's a Mayhem Devil. Do they have a follow-up to that? Not yet. Wow, we hit a call the Death Dweller. That's pretty good. I think we just get the Mayhem Devil back. Uh, we'll just kill their Mayhem Devil. They have another way of killing. Yeah. Yep, gonna shoot that down, that's fine. Oh, we can play Tyrant. Yeah, that's fine. A little bit awkward, but we have a Mayhem Devil with Death Touch now. Going through a lot of cards here. I have four cards left. We still have village rights, which is nice. Hive is good, obviously, in the mirror. We can get rid of a cat or other good targets in the graveyard if need be. Could have also gotten both of these back, but I like getting the Mayhem Devil back as Menace as well. We can kind of start to flip the, uh, the tables on them and deal them a lot of damage here. I think we play another devil. Coming in for three. And we'll pass it back. So we know they didn't have a kill spell. They didn't do anything. Uh, we get to untap, we have attack of Numa. We're just gonna come in for six. Might have almost game here, right? Could have also have activated that. Kill them here. Let's 
see. One, two, three, four. Still not enough. I guess we can if we play the other oven. Sacrifice this, steal them two. Hit a butcher, play the oven. Yeah, still not enough, but almost there. If we had activated the creature land, definitely would have got there, but... It's alright, we're still in a pretty good position. They're at 6. We do have our creature lands if things get rough. Yep, we can just sacrifice it. Deal them 2 damage, get them down to 4. And they're pretty much just dead here. Yeah, we had the Hive. Like, if they start to use their mana, we still have Hive plus the Dread Horde Butcher. Um, Colgan seems pretty decent here. Carry Zevs. To a creature or vehicle. Yeah, Carry Zevs seems pretty decent. A Braid isn't bad. Could play Ley Lines just because... Stops a good amount of their cards. I like Obnixilis as well because it's something that they have to attack. Bloodthirsty might be a little bit too man intensive. Let's see. Yeah, maybe we get rid of that. We can get rid of a priest. I mean, Ob gives us a different way of attacking. Yeah, let's try this. Not having Gigantha doesn't really matter too much. Uh, I think we keep this. this is pretty decent. Looking for just any old sacrifice outlet. We have a way of blowing up their oven. They hit like a priest. We can just... Well, I guess we might not want to kill it. Might just want to braid the oven. Seems tempting though. Wow, they didn't have anything interesting. Well, we're just gonna come in. And we'll pass it back. We'll blow this up. Okay, so we can play Priest plus the Oven. And we'll pass it back. 
Takanuma's okay. It's a little bit grindy. It definitely helps us a bit. They may just be trying to grab the priest here. Hey, what's up, Yukfuzi? <laughs> Uh, I guess that's a bit rough, though. They're going to try to take the priest. Yep. We'll just sacrifice this. Maybe they shoot the cat. That's fine if they do. Sure. Yep. Alright, well, let's see. Taking the three. We would just be trading Mayhem Devils. If I play my Mayhem Devil. But then we have our Takanuma. Yeah, it's probably fine. They're gonna go first, sure. Pretty sure we're just gonna shoot each other's mayhem devils down here. Yep. Yep. Gonna sack. <laughs> Deal some damage. Our card's gonna get some damage dealt to it. gonna sacrifice that interesting completely fine with all of this okay shambling gas sure and another Woe Strider, alright. We'll try to block. They do have a Shambling Ghast. Things could get bad here. <laughs> They'll probably do it, is my guess. Yep. We'll go down to 15. 16 because of the Cauldron. Crypt. Could swing out. I think we're just gonna rip the stack of Numa. Hitting the Mayhem Devil. Going down to 10 though is a bit scary. Okay, they hit their own kitty cat, that's fine. We'll mill some cards. Get back a devil. Ooh. Yep, gonna get this back. We'll go down to nine. They're gonna scry now. To the bottom. We hit a village rights. Interesting.
I'm gonna sack the cat now, sure. Wow, they keep it on top. So is it another mayhem devil itself? Or maybe it's an oven. Sure, take it. What do you got for me? Well, they kept it on top. Me hook for three. So, let's see. Sack this. I think we're just gonna gain some life here. That seems like a good idea. They wipe their board. We take some damage. We hit a count. Okay, so we're gonna activate the creature land. We're gonna attack. Yeah, we'll play the cat. And we'll pass it back. Still have the village rates here. They'll probably get back their woe strider. That's fine. So we're breaking even with the meat hook here. Because we'll lose a creature, they'll gain. Comes back, keeps them at the same life. Okay, so we can activate this. Uh, I'm mostly looking for a mayhem devil here. Butcher isn't bad. Okay. Let's just play this. And we'll pass it back. Walk, make a food. Gain life off the food. Really looking for a mayhem double, I guess. Would definitely help finish the game off. We're not dead yet. chump block here yeah that attack doesn't really seem all that great one to eight we go to six yeah that's fine let's get that extra creature down Mayhem Devil. Oh, cards dying does gain them life, unfortunately.
Let's see what they do about this. Okay, they just do that, sure. So, double resolves, we go to three, activate this, they take three, so for them to gain life, yeah, it's a bit annoying. Alright, just gotta pass. Okay, there's a fable, sure. Feel like I gotta gain some life here. Yep, just gonna sack the cat. We can kill this. Yeah, I kind of like that, actually. Let's see, we go back up to six. Yeah, that's fine. Shoot this down. Okay, they sacrifice it. Yep, we go down to four. We're pretty close to dead here. Okay, they scry to the bottom. They go down to seven. We go back up to five. All right, we hit a witness. That's fine. Yep, should be dead here. able to take that match down looking for the latest comic book to add to your collection how about the last card for that magic of the gathering commander deck while the comic book stores got you covered shop online at comicbookstore.tcgplayerpro.com or come in person at 30 north main street glassboro new jersey this video is brought to you by MagicJank.com, the spiciest cards for your sauciest decks. Buy and sell Magic the Gathering products and gear today on MagicJank.com. Pizza people, are you enjoying the content? Don't forget, subscribe to the channel. It's free. Hit that bell icon as well. That way, anytime any of our new content comes out, you're able to see it right away. Hey, leave a comment down below as well. Tell us what you're going to play in the next event. Or tell us what you're enjoying about the video. Don't forget, check out the description too. We've got tons of great content down below. And on top of that, we're going to have our tournament scheduled too. So get in on it. Hope to see you. Going to be on the play here. I think we keep this. It's fine. A little bit land heavy, but it also means we'll be able to cast all of our cards on time. Uh, let's start off with an oven. Can play priest on two. We're up against is it? I still think priest on two is fine. Like I said they don't have a response just yet. If they had something like a ledger shredder, we're pretty much okay with that though. Play an unlucky witness and another priest. Could sack both of these to make them sack and then play another priest. But I think we're actually just gonna pass right now. See what our opponent does. They have an impulse, okay. I'm guessing that they're the combo deck, potentially. Indomitable. I 
having all these priests down is pretty good though, just because we have ways of dealing with whatever creature they go grab. Okay, yep, yeah, gonna make a token, that's fine. Alright, we hit a hive. Could sacrifice the witness here. Okay, we hit a call of the death dweller. Could play a forgotten god sack. Though if they sacrifice that. Yeah, I kind of like that play. Let's do this. Let's target them. We'll sack both of these. They have to sacrifice that. We hit a cauldron familiar. We'll call the death dweller both of these back. Um doesn't really matter we'll pay the two life and play a cauldron familiar get them down to 17 all right a little bit of enough of a productive turn i think and we still have two priests in place so if they kill one we still have a backup one which is pretty good we have an unlucky witness in play that could potentially draw some more cards uh, not getting the hive down is a little bit detrimental, but I don't necessarily think that it's going to be the end of the world here. They got rid of a creativity as well, so it means they're digging deep for just some regular cards. Okay. We'll go to combat here. Attack with the witness and the familiar. Looks like the opponent has potentially a response here. Bit unfortunate, we wouldn't be able to use the mana from the priest if we use it now. They just have a singular removal spell. Okay, they have a shark token. Okay, we can sacrifice both of these, make them sack. They draw. Let's see how they block. Okay, they block the cauldron familiar. So we'll sacrifice it. Kill them one. Get back the cat. Sacrifice both of these. Uh, Bloodthirsty is pretty good. We get rid of that. We hit a village, right? Let's see, we play this. Oh, looks like we actually wanted to play the Bloodthirsty. We can get this back and play Village Rights. We could also Gigantha into our hand. Yeah, I think we get this back. It's a little bit sketchy though. Sack here, Village Rights. Yeah, let's just do this and then hold up the village rates. I think this is okay. Kind of a little bit of a punt there. We needed to uh, grab the bloodthirsty, but it's okay. Yeah, they have fire prophecy. Sacrifice two other creatures. We can just sacrifice the village rates. Just get rid of it. 
Yeah, getting back that call to Death Dweller would have been really good, but it's okay. We have them down to 12. Get a redraw here. Hit a Cauldron Familiar. So we can play Gigantha and the Cauldron Familiar and make them sacrifice the Reflection. And then still have a 5-5 five five plus a decent size threat on the battlefield. Okay, they just hit an Impulse here. That's pretty decent for us. Wow, we hit a Mayhem Devil now, okay. Well, that definitely changes things. We'll play the Devil. Play our Cauldron Familiar. <laughs> we have our actual Cauldron Familiar here. <laughs> Little pepperoni. <laughs> oh, peppers. <laughs> Okay, so we sacrifice both of these. Yeah, I don't see a reason not to. So they're just going to take a ton of damage here. Good old pepperoni. I love that cat. Alright. I hit a claim. We'll get them down to six. Untap. Play this. Yo, what up, HGG? Hope you're doing good. We haven't gone to combat yet. Are they just dead here then? Yep, just gonna deal you three. Deal you another one here. Sacrifice the cat. Deal you another one, and then the cat deals you one. All right. Able to get there that turn. Definitely some uh, crazy lines there. Do we just want the thought seize? I think that we do. How's it going, homie? How you doing today? Hope you're doing good. Uh, let's see. Oh, we definitely want the abrade. Probably the thought sees. I feel you on that. <laughs> Claim was good there, but it's not always going to be good. Eaten alive. It's fine. Hmm. This card does get worse on the draw, but... Against them, it's probably still fine. I feel like we might want the push. Just because they're targeting tokens a lot more than often. A lot more often than that. Uh, Colgan's is okay. Up next list is a clock. This is kind of tough. Do we just get rid of the claim? Mm. 
We're almost out of time here. All right, let's try this out. It's a little bit awkward. We kind of just like don't want to dilute our deck too much, but we also want to have enough answers for them so that they don't just combo kill us. I think this is a pretty good hand. Yeah, I don't mind starting with the cat. Normally I wouldn't, but I think it's okay. Get the oven down. We'll swing in for one. Do they have a removal? Well, we got a village, right? King Kush in the house. Let's go. What's up, homie? Good to see you. Hope you're doing good. Impulse from the opponent. Looking for their land drop, potentially. They got it. They're paying life for it. Interesting. Let's play a butcher. Swinging for some damage. I'm guessing they kill it because it's a pretty potent card if they don't kill it. Okay, not gonna do it yet. We'll play a witness. Oh no, they're going to combo us. We tapped out, chat. We made the mistake of tapping out. They need another land. They don't have it. They're doing three damage to each creature and each planeswalker, sure. Let's sack this. Uh, just some lands. This dies, we get to hit them. Get our kitty cat back. Call of the Death Dweller. It's a pretty good card. Pretty good card. I think we're just gonna pass. I probably wanted to play one of those lands. I'd rather just get the den down, honestly. Indomitable. Yep, we're just gonna destroy that in response. So that does not happen, and we're able to take the match down pretty easily, I think. Just able to have the answers. We had our game plan going pretty consistently. Uh, you can definitely tell why this is still one of the best decks in Explore. I definitely recommend this deck for any tournament that we host. And the latter, for sure, you're going to be able to rank up pretty quickly. Kind of just have to think out your plays, though. Uh, take your time with the deck. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, don't forget to check out all my content down below. All my links and the free tournaments that we host. Three a month with cash prizes. I stream on Twitch uh, during the week. 4 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 1 a.m. Pacific. Uh, you can find me playing some Explorer on Sundays. You can find us at 1 p.m. Uh, for any live stream of the tournaments that we're hosting. So uh, thanks again for watching. Stay cheesy.